All right, we're here in mid-September, Hunter. And when you look at your career, like getting to September, getting through September, you got through it last year, like this this part again, like year number two of this. How's that feel? Um, it feels great, um, especially with everything in the past, all the injuries. Uh, you know, I had a little setback this year, but I uh, was able to come back and uh, bounce back from it, and it's been, uh, it's been great. The fun part is, like, it's not the injury that's fun. I'm not going to talk about it, but there, there's been an ascension of you. Like, you've gone from earning the trust of Davey and your stuff has just played out, and you, you earn the role of being a closer for a little bit, right? So injury aside, you earn that part. But it's been like a feed back and forth between you and Kyle. How's that been going? Um, it's been fun. Uh, you know, there'll be days where me and him will start messing around, and uh, we'll do rock, paper, scissors, see who's got the eighth or ninth. So we're, we're always just having fun with it and uh, just enjoying uh, what we're doing. And it's a tandem thing because, I mean, like, all great bullpens have a one-two combo. And, and let, let alone there's, like, a three and a four, right, when you go to it. But, like, between you two, it's a friendship, too. Like, it's like you guys are competitive. We get the whole thing. But, like, you guys are friends on and off the field. How much does that play a part to you think of the success? Um, I think a lot. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's fun having a buddy down there. And, you know, we all get along really good, but me and him kind of hit it off ever since I come over. And, uh, you know, it's been a blast, you know, hanging out with him every day and uh, uh, just getting to know him. And it's been uh, unbelievable. Jose Ferrer, does he know your name? <laughs> Yeah, he does now. It took, it took him a little, a little bit, but he figured it out. It, he's, a, he's a character. So the speed back, because like for, for, for me, when I look down there and I see him and I see someone that's young who, you know, English isn't his first language, but he's learning too at the same time. And, and obviously having Ricky down there is great, but like he loves you guys. Like he is always around. Like he's like laughing. Has that been a part of like just the process of you know you bringing him up as well? You know, I mean, all these guys, everybody has a, a hand in it. Oh uh, yeah, I, uh, one of the first couple of days he got here, I told him and said we're gonna we're gonna get you some good English. <laughs> so uh, it, and he's really easy to talk to. He's fun. You can tell he's young, but he's a he's a great kid to have down there. He's full of energy, so he keeps us all uh, on our toes, and uh, he's been a blast. Speaking of keeping on everybody on their toes, the heater's been up. Velocity's been nice. When he came off injury, it was, you know, around like 96 and 97. And I was like, wow, this guy's throwing soft now, you know, like, but you, you didn't go through a rehab process. I mean, you went through the rehab process, but as far as games, <laughs> was that a part of it in your mind knowing, all right, it's going to come at some point. But like, did you go, hey, where, where are you? Um, no, I wasn't really too worried about it. I didn't think uh, it had anything to do with my arm or anything like that. I thought it was more just uh, mechanic stuff. Um, I think, uh, you know, coming back after not doing much for those 20 days, it was just uh, trying to figure out how to use my legs again and uh, not uh, trying too hard. And uh, it just kind of it took a little bit, but kind of starting to get back into the feel of it now, and it's starting to feel good. One of my favorite things in watching you come out is, like, it's like a left-handed hitter up. <laughs> I don't know if your dad's told you, but like I start chuckling on air when you when you flip in that 80 mile an hour curveball. I think it's the funniest thing on earth because it's like you can see the wheels turning on the hitters. And I know you see that because it's part of like you read swings, you read people, you read that. It's not just about getting oh, okay, this is what I'm gonna throw. But like that first pitch curveball when you land it, and if most of the time you do land it, like you just watch those guys go. Oh man, what what am I waiting for? I, yeah, sometimes it's funny because. Uh, I know everybody's sitting one pitch 95% uh, of the time, so just landing anything off speed, and then they're like, what the heck was that? It's uh, it's it's funny, and it's just kind of like, all right, well, I ain't going to throw you a heater yet. We're going to keep messing around and, and see what happens. But, yeah, it, it's it's fun to see. Is there one at bat in particular that, like, you love more than anything from this year just because there's been, you know, some big moments, you know, for you, getting your first save, you know, and, and having opportunities to have the saves. But, like, is there one at bat that, like, you, that you go back on and go, yeah, that was it. Um, I mean, for me, it has, I'd say it has to be like Trout or Otani. Um, you know, just facing yeah, – I, I grew up watching that guy. Um, so it, it was crazy to, you know, be on the mound facing him and uh, just knowing, you know, he's as good as he is and obviously he's going to be a Hall of Famer one day. And then same with Shohei. It's, facing those guys was kind of like a surreal moment. It's just like this this can't be happening. So and to be able to get strikeouts, so it's like this is just – it's crazy to even be in this moment. Punch ticket, that's what you do. Uh, last one for me. When, when I look at you and, and I see the closer, I see the, the late inning guy, and I know that you and your dad have such a close relationship, and um, he and I have sat down and talked with Waters and stuff, but um, the slider, 
Right, he talked, man, that, that slider is so good. Like, he just doesn't trust it yet. Like, and I remember it was last year in St. Louis, we were having this discussion, and like, since then, it starts to click. Like, what is it with that pitch that, like, makes you, like, it, it took some time to get that feel back? Because he said it used to be just like, that was the pitch. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just all feel. And I, I don't know why, but that's the pitch for some reason. When I take time off, I lose the feel of it. And I, I kind of felt that when I first come off the I.L., and then it wasn't until uh, I think the game against Miami at home, I threw a couple and I was like, that's that's the feel that I've, I wanted to get back to. So it's just it's crazy how that one goes in and out. But he uh, he wears me out about every night about uh, about all my pitches. So not just that one. I get a I get yelled at all the time. Does he yell at you about your patchy uh, beard? No, he don't care about that. <laughs> he only cares about what I do on the mound. So and uh, I get a good talking to about every night.